This is my game One Socket. It's a point and click horror game where you play as a test subject in a mysterious experiment. And in this video, I'll show you how I made it from the ID stage to the fully finished demo release. So sit back, relax, and we'll start with design. So this game idea all came from this one game jam prompt, limited space. And it perfectly fit this one game idea I had previously when I had to unplug my bedside lamp to plug in my phone charger. And I was like, huh, this could be an interesting game mechanic. At the start of game projects, I like to make these big documents where I can just put down a bunch of post-it notes and think about what I want the goal of the game to be, what the player experiences should be, and kind of what game elements I want to have in my game. So the goal of the game would be that the player would have to survive for a certain amount of time until they had a code which they could use to escape. They would get this code from like a mysterious man on the phone. And while they were surviving, there was this uh, very scary monster in the dark. You could use your devices such as your lamp or the speaker to scare off this monster. That would be kind of the main game loop that the player would be doing. All these devices need electricity, which I thought would come from a generator which the player had to charge by hand. Now when I had a kind of a rough idea what I wanted in my game, it was time to start thinking about the environment. My idea was that it would be a very long dark corridor with uh, kind of dark fog where you wouldn't be able to see the end of it and this is where the monster would be. Then I decided to put the generator at the opposite corner which would mean your back would be turned against the monster. To get a rough idea of how the environment would look with the game elements that I wanted, I just took a screenshot of the environment that I made in Unity and just drew with my drawing pad on top of it to see kind of what would fit the best. So the main design phase was now done and it was time to start programming and this stage took for sure the longest, but it won't take the longest for you because I can just snap my fingers right now and if all goes right, it should all be programmed. So let's try this. Okay, it, look, it looks pretty good. Wait, is that, is that a bug? Oh no, this does not look good. Okay, let's let's try to snap again. Maybe it will just magically fix the bug. I don't know, let's try it. I don't think it's working. You might be wondering what I'm doing in this clip, but it's quite obvious. I'm sitting in my Pickle Rick dressing gown, holding my wooden boat I made in primary school, making the sound of the player charging up the generator. But why am I doing this? Well, because I chose the comp mode, which is like the competitive mode of the game jam. One of the rules is that you have to make every single audio and you cannot take any audio from other sources. Seven, so this led to some very eight, creative sound making. Nine. Uh, I made the plug sound all by myself and even the phone sound I made. With the design, the programming, and the audio fully 
functional now, it was time to finalize and make the game jam page. So I took screenshots and wrote a little description and I worked all the way until the very end of the game jam, trying to crunch in every last minute I had. But I was worried I was not gonna make it because there was only a very few minutes left to do all these things. But little did I know that there would be a submission hour right after the game would end. This is a submission hour. What? Oh my god. This is a submission hour. Anyway, the game got very good feedback and a lot of people were happy about it. The game managed to get in the 31st place of the mood category. This game had quite some potential, I thought, so I reworked the entire tutorial to a much improved version and I added a narrative and I fixed loads of bugs and that's where I'm at now with the fully functional demo release. So feel free to play it and give me some feedback. Let me know what you think.